Welcome to our Medicare 101 series. In this presentation, I'm going to discuss election periods. This will help you understand when you are able to enroll in Medicare and Medicare plans. In this series, we hope to answer general Medicare questions that you may have whether you are currently a Medicare beneficiary or soon to be a Medicare beneficiary. At the end of each video, you will see our phone number that can direct you to any of our offices throughout the Franciscan Health locations. Typically, there are four different election periods or enrollment periods. The first one is the initial enrollment period when you first turn 65. Then there is the Medicare Supplement Open Enrollment Period. There's the annual enrollment period, which happens every year from October 15th to December 7th. And then there is special enrollment periods. There are several special enrollment periods that someone could qualify for. Let's start with the initial enrollment period. This is when you can enroll in your Medicare Part A and Medicare Part B, which is your original Medicare. You can also enroll in Medicare Part C, Advantage Plans, and your Medicare Part D, Prescription Drug Plans. The initial enrollment period starts three months before you turn 65, then the month you first become eligible when you do turn 65, and then three months after you turn 65. During this time, you can enroll at any point for Medicare's Part A, B, C, and D. The Medicare Supplement Open Enrollment Period revolves around when you take your Medicare Part B. We will discuss later about your options if you are still working. However, I want to note on this slide that your open enrollment to get into any Medicare Supplement without health underwriting starts when you take your Medicare Part B. If you are still working, you may want to wait and take your Medicare Part B in order to maintain this enrollment period for when you do go on to Medicare. Once you are outside the six month window of taking your Medicare Part B, then you may have to go through health underwriting if you do not qualify for a special enrollment period. The Medicare Supplement Open Enrollment Period starts when you take your Medicare Part B and continues for five months past that. The annual enrollment period is an enrollment period that takes place each and every year from October 15th to December 7th. No matter which type of Medicare plan you are in, you want to make sure you check your plan during the annual enrollment period. During this time, if you have a Medicare Advantage plan, you will want to check and see if there's any changes in premiums, co-pays on the plan, deductibles, make sure all your doctors are in network, if there's no major changes in how your medicines are tiered. And then if you have a Medicare supplement with a prescription drug plan, then you would still again want to check your premiums, co-pays, deductibles, the tiers of your medicines. Uh, this is also the time where if you decided you wanted to change from a Medicare supplement to a Medicare Advantage plan, then you could do that during this time. You could also potentially change from a Medicare Advantage plan to a Medicare supplement at this time. However, you may be subject to health underwriting rules to qualify for a Medicare supplement. But this is a great time to evaluate your plan. Each year in September, uh, your plan carrier should send you what's called an annual notice of change, where it will tell you some of the changes in your plan for the year. Be sure to keep an eye out for that annual notice of change so that you can check and see if there are any changes in your plan and if you'd like to evaluate and look into other options. The last election period we will discuss are special election periods. There are several different special election periods that someone could qualify for depending on their situation. We are going to discuss some of the more common ones that can be used. The first one is if you move out of a service area. So if you live in a certain zip code and move to another zip code or another county or even another state, then you would qualify for a special election period for moving out of a service area. So if you move 
and your plan is not offered in that other zip code, county, or state, then this is when you would use the special election period. This can be used for your Part C Advantage plans and your Part D Prescription Drug plans. The next special election period is losing credible coverage. In some situations, people will decide that they are going to stay on their employer coverage even though they are eligible for Medicare Parts A and B. In this case, you would need to have creditable coverage by your employer plan, otherwise you would receive a penalty. But if you do have creditable coverage through your employer and you choose to stay on that employer plan until maybe you're 67, 68 years old, then you leave the employer plan due to retirement or whatever the reason might be, you would qualify for a special election period, again, into your Part C and D Advantage plans, and depending on your situation, your Medicare supplements, then you would use the special election period of losing creditable coverage. And the last one we will discuss is becoming dual eligible. When you are dual eligible, that means you qualify for Medicare and Medicaid. Therefore, you would be considered dual eligible. When you first qualify for Medicare and Medicaid, then you would have a special election period to switch plans into a Medicare Medicaid plan or maybe just another Medicare Advantage plan or prescription drug plan. If you are dual eligible, you actually have a special election period every quarter of the year except for the last quarter because then you would be in the annual enrollment period. These special election periods, depending on your situation, could be any time of the year. They do not have a set time frame throughout in the year. They could happen at any time. What if you and or your spouse are still working? Then it's still important to compare your employer benefits with the Medicare options that you would have. In some cases, your employer benefits might suit you better. And in other cases, Medicare might suit you better. So I encourage you to speak with someone and some type of consultant or expert in Medicare to compare your options and your costs on your employer plan compared to Medicare. Again, Franciscan Insurance Services would be happy to help you anytime if you had questions about how your employer plan works compared to Medicare. If you'd like assistance with your Medicare options or just have general Medicare questions, call us at 877-883-6400. Five, seven, and you can choose the office located nearest you to speak with your local Franciscan Insurance Consultant.